Hi there, Gary here. The other day I recorded a video, I made a video when I was remembering the last portion of Rush 2112 and I've got confused and I was singing Kiss Torpedo Girl because when Torpedo Girl begins there's an audio from a submarine and goes something like um, Air Battle Station Torpedoes Air Battle Station Torpedoes and that was what I was singing trying to remember the last part of the masterpiece 2112s by Rush and now <laughs> that portion is Attention to all planets of the Solar Federation Attention all planets of the Solar Federation we have assumed control. We have assumed control. We have assumed control. Wow! And now that I'm listening to it as an isolated audio, I'm not sure if it is Alex Lifeson. But I don't remember if this voice is credited in the album. You see? We need the credits. We need all the credits of an album in our, uh, I don't know, Apple or, or, or YouTube Premium or Google or Spotify, whatever. We need the complete credits, guys. Then, I've just seen the deleted scene from The Batman. Great movie, uh, directed by Matt Reeves. And uh, mm, I must say I'm not quite impressed by this depiction of the Joker. I felt it a little over the top. I felt it a little bit uh, Jared Leto's Suicide Squad Joker. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Um, let's give it a time, and uh, I'll wait for for a, a bit more about this Joker. But um, no, I didn't like it. Maybe because I'm still very impressed by Joaquin Phoenix' masterful performance of his Joker, and maybe because this kind of over the top Joker was perfect with Hedge Ledger and because I didn't like uh, Jared Leto's uh, Joker, I didn't like it, uh, no, 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 nada, nada. So try, uh, I like for example Gotham's Joker. It was a very, very personal Joker. He he didn't try to to copy uh, Head Ledger. Uh, uh, he had a challenge, and this one, I don't know. I don't think, and I, and I enjoy very much the Arkham Asylum comics, the the paintings because they are they are paintings. They are not drawings. The way that the Joker is depicted is terrifying. I was I was hoping I was hoping for something like that. Maybe also because I am thinking about The Laughing Man. The Laughing Man is a movie from the 40s. You can search for it in here in YouTube. And there's a, a great guy that is, uh, uh, I don't know if he's writing them, but he's uh, presenting Batman episodes, but Batman, for example, in the 50s, Batman, for example, in the Crusades, Batman, for example, in the 40s, in the 20s. Um, and it's great. And in his Batman with with the Joker chapter video, he he uses photographs photographs from 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 the early 40s, for example, and 
if I'm not wrong, he uses one one photograph of the laughing man, and he's a joker. He's the joker, a very thin man with a a very big mouth and a great great terrifying smile. I think the Joker has to be more depicted internally and using his eyes. When I saw this new Joker, uh, I didn't like it. Uh, his hair torn apart, blood in in in, uh, in her in his nails because he's he's tearing his nails apart. I don't think that is that's. A, a, I won't say correct depiction of the Joker because now everyone has his Joker in mind and we have read many many comic books uh, presenting a different Joker but mm, uh, I wasn't expecting this kind of Joker but let me know what do you think for uh, of course uh, Pattinson's Batman, it's it's great. Uh, it's my favorite. Well, I don't know if it is my favorite because Michael Keaton's Batman is great. Christian Bale's Batman is great. Uh, I didn't like Ben Affleck as Batman. But, well, let me know what do you think. Um, and, well, that's what I was going to tell you right now here in hiding thank you very much gary here subscribe like comment whatever and if you don't want to don't do it thank you very much bye now